Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be building, yes, a terrarium. It's gonna be a closed terrarium, old dog treat bowl. Okay, this is our blue peacock fern. Um, it still has some of the roots attached to it. Oh, well, that's, you know, it's there. <laughs> And then we have our asparagus fern, which is not doing very good in this container. See, this is dead, so that needs to come off. And we're gonna just take him out of there and put him in the terrarium. Ferns like humidity, so it's perfect for them. This is my ivy, which we have propagating, which let's take this out of here. Can you see these? We also have some things to build a terrarium with. We're gonna start with some charcoal charcoal and then we're going to add some rocks we have our soil which is 50% perlite 50% cactus soil then we have what is this Spanish moss mm, I'm pretty sure that's what this is oh no this is Spanish moss she's right we're gonna use Spanish moss and then we're gonna use this fake but looks like real life grass moss it smells like wood chips. We're going to layer the bottom with some charcoal. Charcoal is going to help prevent any mold that's going to happen inside the terrarium because this is going to stay closed. You literally don't have to water terrariums, closed terrariums, because the humidity just creates in itself from the plants inside of it. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then we're going to create a little mound along the side with rocks and we're going to lay soil in the center so that the soil is all the way at the bottom. If you lay rocks at the bottom, sometimes water can lay there. <clears throat> and then it can cause root rot for your plants and you don't want that. So we're gonna have soil go all the way to the bottom so that doesn't happen. And then we're gonna top it off with our Spanish moss stuffs. Okay, let's get started. Can I touch it or no? Can you touch it? <laughs> <laughs> it's charcoal. Okay. Is it terrarium charcoal? <laughs> is there such thing as terrarium circle? Dirt. Don't get it on the carpet. Rocks. Oh, rocks. You're right. She's right. It's gonna take all day. Are they dirty? There's like no dog poop on these, is there? No. I got them from the side of the building. Okay. So these mason jars, while we're on the topic of mason jars, um, our old spaghetti sauce jars. We use them as our drinking glasses too. Tastes like tomato douche. All right, so we are finished with the rocks there. Now we're going to add soil in the center. So should I do this or you wanna do it? <laughs> Just drop the soil right over the top of the charcoal. Pat it down a little bit. I'm gonna add a few more pieces of charcoal. Do you wanna just put a few more pieces? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think you necessarily need that much um, charcoal, but you know, we don't want no mold happening. I can take that. Okay, thank you. All right, so now we're going to just pat it around here, like so. What do we do next? Do we put the moss and then the plants, or do we put the plants and then the moss? Plants and the moss. Okay, so put let's. The moss around the plants. Okay, let's start with the fern. So we're gonna take this out of the soil that it's in. Ah, look at them roots, though. Yeah, I'm getting dirt everywhere. It's dancing. Okay, snip right there. Can you move that dirt in the carpet? And we're gonna stick this towards the back of the terrarium to cover up this dog treats sign. So I'm gonna kind of dig a little hole there. That looks cute. Maybe put some soil on top of there. And you don't wanna like make it super even. You want it to be kind of. Have volume. Yeah. What is that? Um, this fern is a trailing plant, so it should kind of cover the ground of the terrarium. It's gonna get you hard to get the roots away. Almost like ground cover. This is crazy. Ah. 
So this has, see this has roots like all the way all over it. So I'm just gonna kinda stick those down in there. And pray for the best, you know? It's a learning process. This is difficult. Are you cleaning? Can I vacuum? Okay, Ivy time. All right, so look at it. It's growing a new little guy. We're just gonna kind of stick this down in there and curve it around the side, just like that. And it's in there. And we should be good. Isn't that cute? Okay, you wanna fill that in somewhere? I have no idea where. Probably won't use all of it. It doesn't fit in there. It looks fine. You just kind of, yeah, look at it. You could see it, right? She's a perfectionist. I don't know where she gets it from. It's not me. Clearly. This stuff is cool. I got this on Amazon. I'll make sure I link it below. Is it safe for plants? It is. It's for terrariums. Um, it came with a set, so this came in it, and then like some other pink stuff. I wasn't going the pink route. We're trying to keep it all natural. I also got the charcoal on Amazon. I will make sure I put a link below. Amazon's a glorious place, isn't it? Let's see. That looks super cute. I think I'm gonna put the bench in there. I'm gonna do it, like right in the center. That is so cute, guys. Look. Look at how cute it is. Just pants popped in there, perfectionist. No more greenery anywhere? Okay, so now to water it. This is just a glass bottle. I actually got this on Amazon too. It came in like a six pack. Not that expensive. Um, I'll link it below. So all you do is kind of just mist this right inside there if you want to go ahead and do it. I'll get in there a couple more. Okay. And that's it. And then you put the lid on. Um, you never have to water this, really. So in the morning, you should notice some like beadlets, beadlets? Droplets? Droplets <laughs> of water on the side of the glass. And then also in the afternoon or um, nighttime, you'll notice some too. Only two times of the day. If you're noticing droplets, beadlets? Droplets. Droplets. If you're notice, noticing them all day, then just simply take the lid off, let it dry out a little bit more, and then close it back up. But that's it. That's so cute. I love it. Isn't it adorable? All right, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for building a terrarium with us today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications every time we post a new video. You see, I'm already saying we, and it's supposed to be just me. Anyway. I guess she's part of my YouTube channel now. Um, and make sure you comment below. If you have tips on terrariums, opened or closed terrariums, leave them in the comments below. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.